3, 3 a.m. is a good time for me because regardless of what I'm doing, I'm busting the nut. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, know, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. how it's getting bust, but it's no. getting bust. <laughs> it's uh, me, a lady. Yeah. Or just me. Okay? <laughs> me. Just wake up with your hand on your dick and you oh, look around. Yeah. You're like, did we take care of business? <laughs> oh, what? man. Oh, that's the best time. I Sometimes, uh, this is how I know. Sometimes if I don't bust a nut, I'll wake up. My dick will be super hard. Like, it's mad at me or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, a- we've been waiting. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> oh, shit. That shit be looking at me like a Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> Irritated as <and> shit. <laughs> oh man. Uh, just so fucking arms crossed, just fucking <laughs> sucking his teeth in. Like, mm. oh man, I love you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play Connect Four. We're gonna do Hell best yeah. out of three. All right. Yeah, that and then you wanna make a wager? Something something light. I will I'll buy you a drink at the next show. Uh drinks. Next show. All right, cool. How's life treating you? Tra- uh life's pretty good. A little the holidays get weird for me. Why? Um, I got to travel to a lot of countries. You look like you from a lot of countries. Yeah, yeah. Team Morocco, baby, all day. I don't even know what day. that's at. That's American uh, education for you, baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's bios. I just don't know where. It's in Africa. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. It says the tip, right? I knew you had to swag for some reason. Hey, I'm out here. <laughs> Boom, boy, yeah. Uh, But no, I got to go to Puerto Rico for the holidays and then... Mexico. Which one do you like the best? It's hard because my my Puerto Not Rican penis, family, my Puerto Rican family likes to have fun. They okay. have fun together. Mm-hmm. They don't hate each other. Mm-hmm. My Mexic my Mexican family got a lot of beef. Mm. So so holidays. That's not said typical at all. Nah, that's so <laughs> funny. So they got a lot of little weird things, but with me they don't have no beef. So when I get there, I'm like the glue that keeps a lot of that shit together. Mm. But to fuck around and find out. It's Mexico, bro. Mm. Bro, I took, when I was uh, 14, I took uh, my best friend. It's, uh, he was 6'3 at the time. Black kid named Blake. And uh, we took him to Mexico for my sister's quinceanera. Mm-hmm. And so we're down there. And this is Mexico in the late 90s, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, little kids would follow him around at the markets and just go, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's so funny. Everybody thought he was Michael Jordan. They never seen the yeah. black. <laughs> they were like, it's hey, got to be him. That's so funny. Well, you know, it's crazy. People always like, because, you know, I'm a darker skinned guy. When people talk about tan, they're like, oh, yeah, I, I get I get dark. I'm like, nah, nigga. This is my, this is me. This is my winter color. Yeah, this eye. is me. This is my lightest. Yeah. This is my lightest. Niggas don't know. I grew up in Georgia, bro. There was a point in time I actually did turn purple a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, eggplant looking. <laughs> I was in that shit. People was like, hey, man, you know, you can go inside, bro. Don't do this to yourself. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> when I lifeguarded and I swam in the summers, um, I was dark. Yeah, what, you swam, right? I, I swam in college. Uh, Did you like it? I was the shit. Okay. Those, <laughs> this game's over. Oh, fuck. It's no, called the not. double whammy. Hell yeah, I got you two-sided. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> Shaka bow Fuck. Oh, all right, one more. It's just two more, baby. Let's see. Oh, I used to play this shit all the time when me I was too. a kid. Me too. All right, good. So, let me ask. So, how did you get into stand-up? I was always a ADD, hyperactive kid, and I would, like, bang on shit or chew on shit. Like, around second or third grade, BET's Comic View mm-hmm. was on at night. And I would just watch that shit before I go to bed and just memorize the jokes. Mm. And I would go to school the next day and I would perform the jokes. Mm. And by, like, fifth grade, my teacher, Mr. Prince, was giving me, like, 20 minutes after lunch on Wednesdays Swag. in front of the class to get it out of my system. That's cool. And that's when I was like, yo, I want to do this. But then... Life had sports took sports took over my entire life until mm. after college, <clears throat> and then um, I did the thing, bro. I got the job. I mm. had the girl. I got the apartment. Mm. We were gonna get the dog. We were yeah. gonna do the whole fucking thing. I looked in the mirror and I was like, I fucking hate myself. Mm. I do. And we had already seen Charlie Murphy, Pablo Francisco, mm. Chris Rock, and then I'm like, if I don't do this comedy thing, mm. I'm gonna end up like becoming a real bitter, mm. like hateful person. Wow. And so I signed up for Second City classes, started doing my first open mics. And then before I really got into it, the opportunity came to travel Mm. for like almost two years. And I did. And and I traveled. I did open mics in Colombia, in London, in a bunch of places. And by the time I got back home, I was like, I'm going to be a comedian. 
Mm. I'd rather be on the couch driving a fucking Uber, mm. wasting my degree, if you will, mm. and uh, hitting up open mics, working on material. But I, at the end of the day, I'm just I just want to tell stories, funny stories. Mm. And imagine you're having a dinner with all your best friends and mm. everybody's just looking at you holding court. When you was a kid, what what table did you sit at? I was kind of a jock. Oh, OK. But also a cool. You look kid. like it. Don't lie. We can I tell. I was a cool kid. Um, in high school, we had mm. a little table that was just the swimmers and water polo players. Mm. But we mm. also ran that bitch. Mm. We were the best team. You, the first school that the swim team ran. <clears throat> okay. Bro, I we was ranked in one. state in mm. water polo first or second every year. Water polo is a real ass sport. I got to be yeah. honest with you. It's like football in the water. It's, 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 it's heavy duty. I mean, we had good teams for like basketball and football, but they couldn't get to state like we did. Mm. Around 16, I bought turntables and a mixer and i turned my my mom's basement into a club and so you've just been this guy your whole life huh oh yeah i mean the guy with the shades yeah no nah, dog <laughs> i've had the thing i try i tried giving it up bro i had the girl we were i was gonna go clean mm-hmm. i was gonna be like i'm just drinking wine tonight i was gonna be that yeah, but nobody likes that like, here's the thing, and i don't shit on people for it, the basic like if you want it but yeah. you don't but people don't want like people like how do you how do you deal with like rejection every day? I go because the other side is a rejection of who I am. Uh, yeah, yeah, truly. Yeah, your 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 inside starts fucking hating you. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, what are you doing? That, that the money is nice, bro. I was getting sixty five k a year, right? Which mm. is not bad, which I would have been over six figures now easily. Yeah, but I'm like that path looks miserable. It is. It's absolutely miserable. It I mean, is if you don't want it. People keep telling me to go to therapy, and I'm like, you know what? I, I, I solved it. You know what I did? Yeah, do? yeah. I invite people over to play Connect Four while I record. <laughs> <laughs> and I trauma dump. Well, I let them trauma dump yeah, on me. Yeah, like, honestly, what it comes down to is saying what is happening inside of you. Mm. Is you So, like, energetically, I'm going to get all woohoo, but energetically, like, your shit is, like, fucking friction inside of you. You mm. got to ground it. Like, mm. if you install, like, light or whatever, you have to ground the electrical mm. so yeah i don't know the, what you're talking about but i'm following so, I'm, so <laughs> yeah shocked. but so you so talking to someone about how you like what's going on what's mm. bothering you yep. is a way to ground yep. your emotions exactly so that they go somewhere mm-hmm. and then you're you're kind of still free to flow i needed to please shatter roberto this mm. this this fictional character that goes to work and does mm. marketing and builds websites mm. and and th- that was great and all, and I dabbled in real estate. But the re- the Tito that's always been me was this entertainer, mm. was like, give me the mic and let mm. me fucking... And I used to DJ, it. so I used to like throw fucking twerk little competitions mm. and just love cracking jokes. And mm. yeah, This is who I am, bro. Mm. This is who I am. And you know, day jobs for them niggas who, you know, they think a certain type of way. Us niggas, we play Connect Four and, and, and talk about our lives and shit. Cause we because we refuse to go to therapy. Yeah, hey, you would. Yeah, man, thank God, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this video. You are gonna just watch? You are gonna see me struggling the whole yeah. thinking? Of, you're talking. And I'm in this bitch focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pause out, bro. <laughs> you got me. I'm in this bitch like, no, no, no. It's your podcast. Focus, Saint James. No, no, I can't, man. I can't keep losing. Comedy is 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 a lot like swimming because you have to learn technique. You have to learn. Mm. Without technique, you're gonna hurt yourself. Who's your favorite swimmer? Ooh, I was a fan of Ryan Lochte. Okay. He had like white boy swag. Mm. He would show up with a grill in his mouth and get behind the block and he had his own he had his own sneakers and shit. So you just been a weird guy your whole life, huh? <laughs> 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 I like you just... I like the weirdos, bro. Me too. So Kanye. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> bro, I was watching Kanye's highlights on Alex Jones today. My God. Do you think he's trolling? I think Kanye is trolling the entire world mm. right now. A very particular small fraction. Do of I world. do I think he's trolling? At first I at first I did. I don't anymore. Well, what think, do you think he's serious? I think he's mentally ill. I, I at first I did think he was trolling. I just can't I can't see him going this far because the problem is he's so far. If he was trolling, how do, how does he pull this back? How you know? does he land the plane? Yeah, because like now you lost so much and you're never gonna get it back. If he is trolling, you said what you said. He's such an artist, and he's gotten away with being outlandish in every industry he's I agree. been in. Facts. He's also mentally mentally no, he's got mental illness in the sense where he goes off the scale. Mm-hmm. He needs to be medicated when that happens. 
he uh he's gotten a divorce mm-hmm. and his girl he's like the top black excellence mm-hmm. you know for a second he him jc obama like you could see like admiration as a person and and then his his lady leaves him for fucking pete davidson yeah, right and mm-hmm. this shit becomes yeah. mad public and then you're angry, you're bitter, you're getting a divorce, you're mentally unstable, and you're mad, and who, you picked someone to be mad at. Mm. Granted, he's got his gripes, contracts, whatever the deeds, I don't know, mm. but that's them. And uh, he ha- he's, I think, blowing all his steam off in one direction, mm. and at the same time, causing as much friction because he enjoys pushing the limits and boundaries of thought. Mm. The problem is the hatred part of a it. It is very hateful. He m- must be very angry. Is it my turn? Yeah. Right. Is is that's the that's the one thing that's really fucking that one up. Uh, I can't go. He there. called Dave Chappelle a hack. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You know what I'm saying? How saying. is he's he's reaching in every angle. And, and throwing everything he can and be like, these are just words, my people. And he just did the same thing yeah. and just talked about Mexicans. We're still alive. We them. wouldn't even give a fuck. We, what so are we going to do? Up. Not mow his lawn? <laughs> 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 they took a bill from him, G. <laughs> a billion. Jeez. Mexicans ain't going to do that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to come over and knock your plants over. <laughs> we be like, fuck your ass. Oh, I'll shit. still buy your shit though. Uh, oh <laughs> shit, that's so fucked up. <laughs> but it's real. He does. He, he went. Mexicans he, be like, fine, but we can say the young word, <laughs> 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 and then move to Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, everybody should seek therapy. Really? Of some kind. Okay. Of some kind. What I do is go to the gym. I like that. And. Uh, I try to I try to sweat so mm. as a as a man at least someone with high testosterone, mm. you got to get it out. Go ahead, tell them big balls. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got to get it out. You got to uh, you know until you're like in your sixties, you really got to get it out. Mm-hmm. And so I go to the gym, I get it out, and then I uh, I go to the sauna, and it's uh it's like at least 10, 15 minutes, and I just sit there quiet, and I just try to meditate or just think of nothing. The sauna is uh is really good for you. Did you know? Ooh. Yeah. The sauna, the sauna is. It, apparently, if you um, apparently um, going to the sauna, if you go to the sauna um, like a couple times a week for like thirty minutes, you it, it yeah. uh, expands your life. Yeah, by, like, it, it helps five to ten years. At least it doesn't. Who they've noticed people live longer. By yeah, five there's to 10. a heavy sauna culture in the the Baltics, like Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, and them, mm. and uh, they live uh longer but but it's important to to just let it out is what i ultimately tell dudes i'm like just let it out yeah. find a way to let it out go boxing go jujitsu whatever it is but just like stress your body mm-hmm. and then find a moment a time of quiet mm-hmm. like we used to i have this joke on what we're gonna it's basically dudes we used to just stare at a fire we we, we, would, we would just go home Bring home the fucking animal, mm. give it to the lady or whatever. She start talking and we just be like, I gotta go make a fire. And then you go outside, you make a fire and just sit in front of that bitch for like two days, bro. <laughs> and you just be like, No, I'm good now. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I got out my system. That's so funny. You know, homophobia is a is a new invention. Do you know that? That's really? A, oh yeah, back in like in the Greeks and the Romans age. Oh no, yeah, th- yeah them yeah, niggas was, was fucking. Thing. Them niggas were fucking everything. Yeah, yeah, them yeah. niggas used to play what? Them niggas used to play game like play whatever their games were and then go back and fuck on their crib. That'd be like we played two K and just started fucking <laughs> the homies. That was just a Tuesday for them if niggas, bro. You were a senator <laughs> in the in the Greek Senate. Chances are, uh, you had a boy toy. God damn it. I just want to quickly point out that you both won. How? Look at it. <laughs> Where? Where? Oh, shit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> How long has that been here? I'm assuming you had it. We have it on video. We'll figure it out yeah, later. Yeah, I think you got it. Um, funny. That's been a good game, my guy. Yeah, that was solid. That was a solid. Thanks for doing it. Well, one example. question. All right. Um, answer you please. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be short. Just whatever answer you want to give. Mm-hmm. But Tito, in your opinion, what is the key to life? 
Ooh. Money, power, respect. Um, <laughs> it's the key to life. Uh, the key to life is finding your joy mm. and stay there. Mm. It, it, it comes in many forms, in many ways, in many things. But avoid what takes away the joy and just follow the joy. Being with your friends is a joy. Sh- talking to your grandparents is a joy. Mm. And um, anything that steals that joy for too long, it's no longer necessary to have. Mm. And enjoy life. Because if you just keep joyous, what's the worst that can happen? But, hey, man, Tito, let's do it again, baby. Anytime, baby. You, uh, I'll, you owe me a drink. Yeah, god dang it. I forgot about that.